Akash Inzi, your favorite reflection of you. Today, I've done a lot of studying, specifically as it relates to genetics and understanding what's really ongoing at the level of our genes. Now, I've been reading through the selfish gene and just about finished, with up, finished up with it. And one of the biggest learnings and lessons from the book itself is that look at the world from the level of genes and you'll understand the world on a fundamentally different basis. Now, what, what do I mean by this? Well, colloquially, colloquially in biology, we understand the study of life, the study of biology, social dynamics, etc., from the level of the organism. In other words, we're thinking only at the level of the organism. We're only thinking of, oh, well, I, at the level of the organism. Um, we could also think at that level of the organ. So oftentimes doctors are thinking of this specifically as it relates to maybe, let's say, a, a brain doctor, a neurologist is thinking of at the level of the organ system. So looking at, okay, well, what are the interactions that are ongoing at this system level? Uh, microbiologists are thinking at the level of the like bacteria and some su such thing. Now, well, why is, why is it important to look at different levels of biology to really understand the larger picture of things? Well, when you understand and you, when you look at something in, in a small, in other words, when you look down into the fine details of something, one can get a better understanding of the higher le of the impact at the higher level. An example of this, as it relates to biology, could be something along the lines of understanding why does a uh, a porcupine's pines stick into a fox, for example, that's that's trying to attack it. Well, if you look at the fine fine details, you can see that. Not only is the porcupine's quill just like pointed one way, but there's also fine little barbs on it that, that kind of stick as one is uh, trying to pull them out or some such thing. This is hugely important, not only for biotech, biology, biotechnology, whatever. This is just as important for everyday life. This is just as important for businesses. Uh, and, and, and economics, one of the big things that we were taught and that I learned is that if you want to get a good understanding of what's going on at the high level, and I, I took away this one of the biggest takeaways, huge takeaways from uh, being a strategy uh, in the strategy consulting field, is that in order to understand and apply understanding, uh, in order to understand a small business's um, issues, troubles, etc., look at the whole industry. The whole industry is simply composed of small little businesses. And so, I mean, obviously large ones too, medium-sized ones, but nonetheless, by looking at specific instances, we can start to notice patterns of what are these patterns showing us and telling us and how can we apply at, at the highest level and then how can we take those higher level understandings and apply them at the low level. Huge. Now the selfish gene taught me, take a look at the genetic level to understand behavior and communication and wow, wow, wow. Just astounding. Many of the things that we're taught in terms of communication traditionally do not necessarily align with the, 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 the level of genetics or the level of, of the genes um, and gene transfer systems. So it's incredible to me to, to notice these things and, and to others this might be like, well, yeah, duh, dude, this is like intuitive. But to many, this isn't. And, and that's who I'm talking to really is. To the ones who are unsure, unaware of, oh, well, it's really, really important to understand the small picture of the big picture. So a quote from one of my um, mentors was that in order to understand the firm well or the company, look at the big picture of the small picture. And what does that mean? Look at the small picture. So let's say, look at a company and you're understanding, okay, these are all the people in the company, these are the assets, these are the liabilities, this is where cash is coming in from, this is where cash is going out of, etc. Okay, cool. Now we got the understanding of the small picture. Look at the big picture of the small picture. What's the big picture of the small picture? What's the company's vision? What's the company's values? Where does the company want to be? 
Who does the company want to be? What is their mission? Understand the big picture of the small picture, and through this, we can easily fit into that company. We can easily fit into an organization. We can easily align ourselves with the nature of this higher level being or organism. The same is true with the human body. The same is true with genes. The same is true with individuals. The same is true with industries. Keep up, thrive, and stay sexy.